I recently made a video about Ed's backward sway and how you can use it in a certain swing to keep you safe from most people's counterattacks. However, I was thinking about what about the forward sway, right? We know about the normal capabilities of the forward sway when it comes to combos. If you do, you know, heavy punch and the perfect breaker, you can get, you know, a nice little mix up. If you do the target combo into the half breaker, the left jab, you can get a, you know, you can get a medium DP. But I thought about what can you do on block right i always like to think of ed as like a character that can do a lot of things while you're blocking right so he always he has like these weird frame data i feel like when it comes to block and most of that's coming from you know this being plus and you know this being plus but today in this video we're gonna be talking about the left jab the the not perfect breaker the the kill rush beak or whatever the hell it's called so if this video is very informative, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, comment down below for the algorithm. There's something very interesting that I found out about Ed's fake beak. Well, we're just gonna call it the, the left jab, right? We're gonna call it we're gonna call it the left breaker. Something very curious about the left breaker, and that's that it leaves you zero on block, right? Zero on block. And I found that very interesting because if you make the opponent throw. Um, the cool thing about this move is that you're always out of throw range. So whenever you do this move or even the perfect breaker, you're always out of throw range, right? Ed's moves leave them perfectly out of throw range nine times out of ten. It's actually very impressive how often they just like leave you out of throw range. But I was like, wait, could I do a four framer, right? It's zero. It has a crouching light punch. Sorry, I had a little brief right there. It has a crouching light punch. I was like, can I bait out a super with it? And what I found out was that this is now this is where this is where the tech happens. So as you see, I inputted crouching light jab, and you're like, well, that's you know pretty obvious. People nowadays are constantly talking about you know whipping uh, you know whipping buttons into into parry, but that's not only where it comes in. This might have the most capability that I've ever seen Ed's utility when it comes to burnout without having you to spend meter. The reason being is that you can do heavy punch into the fake breaker, right? You can do it into the left hand breaker. So this is a true block string, even if they're, and this is on zero, right? Last time I did the uh, backward sway, it was on, it was on uh, three delay. Like this is like frame zero, they're doing level three. So this is a true block string right here that puts you out of throw range. So then I thought, what if, can I do crouching light punch, right? It's zero, will our crouching light punches trade? And this is what I found out, is like, yes, they would trade. But then I was like, wait, if I'm able to do crouching light jab, but then parry during a super, can I do crouching light jab and parry their four frame before it comes out? And ladies and gentlemen, this is what I came up with. This is the tech, this is, I don't know the yo-yo pressure like can i can i start naming my own moves now we already got the yo-yo with the level threes but this is why i figured out is that if you perfectly plink crouching light jab with parry because crouching light jab is not special cancelable right you can't drive rush after this so me hitting these together doesn't do anything as you see but this is what you get if they mash a four frame move okay wait i'm bad one second I'm bad. One sec. I'm sorry, dude. Don't do it on camera. 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 So, okay. So, right there. Um, as you can see, I am parry. But if you're better at it than me and learn the timing, you can get a perfect parry. If they mash a four framer, as you see, I can do crouching light punch into parry. And I can get a perfect parry after it. Just like that. Boom. And now you're wondering, well, Roya, what if they do a crouching medium punch? Well, if they do a crouching medium punch, which is a six framer. Oh, uh, whoopsie. You do it. Boom. Counter hit. And what did we just learn? This leaves you in heavy punch territory, meaning you can loot this if you're not bad at the game. And if you want to play a save, right, you can still you can still do the parry. Just in case they eventually get level three. You can still get it every time. Land the parry. Boom. Land the parry. Boom. Boom. 
Like, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And this is, and this is like very important because like if you do all four of these options, crouching light punch, crouching medium punch, Vulcan blast, which is slightly, you know, is level one. So if you want to train with level one or pale rider, this tech covers all of those options, which is like very interesting to think about. Oh, we'll see how bad. Which is like, it's pretty sick that you can kind of force your opponent into the wall right you're you you're not giving up space you're not you're not give you're actually taking space uh, i mean i mean right there i'm bad you know once again i got i gotta work on the timing i just figured this out like maybe like 30 minutes ago so there are people out there who will you know will have the perfect plank or they'll have like the extra 19 buns on their hitbox but i personally think that this is a very 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 useful tech now granted this only works in burnout because this leaves you zero in burnout which is very nice uh, once again, I mean, it, if you don't want to do the, the crouching light punch, you can just opt in for the parry, right? You can just opt in for the parry. Granted, if they walk up and throw you, like, that's on you. The, the crouching jab kind of catches them, um, which is very nice. And like I said, if you do this in the, in the parry, you're not really losing anything. You're not, like, really losing anything. Um, but it is a timing that you just like have to learn. I feel like when it comes especially to like the crouching light punches, especially when it comes to the crouching light punch, like this frame, like this timing, obviously it's a one frame link, I feel like, but you know, you guys are gamers. You guys, you know, you're, if you're watching this, it's because you're a gamer, right? And then if I can do it with a little bit of practice, uh, so can you, right? And then you can go in all the way and boom, right? then do it in the corner i mean especially in the corner so i mean yeah so i so this is the video um i am gonna rock it for maybe like another minute or so and tell you a little bit about the future of uh the channel right so so i like to find out this tech normally whenever i do videos like this it's because i'm laying in bed uh thinking about ed stuff i got i constantly think about how to get better i constantly think about like what tech can i do like what like what did i lose to today um you know so i might like have messed up my beaker combo and then i was like oh man like what can i have done or you know like i said what at the start of this video i was trying to figure out something to do with level two right and i figured out like if you do beaker like the beaker is like negative zero so you can kind of do like a fake block string like that you know and then you can like counter hit them because it's zero so they try to hit you then you can do it and then i stumbled across the fact that there's a there's just an OS with add and heavy punch that doesn't require you to spend meter to then have to, uh, you know, keep plus frames. You can just do heavy punch into this, crouching light punch in the parry, and then boom, you either hit them out of their button, you perfect parry their button, you parry their super, and then you keep on. But thank you everybody for doing it. Yeah, greatly appreciate it. If you find this video super helpful, uh, leave a comment down below, leave a like, tell all your friends, and I'll see y'all again in the next Ed video. See ya!